Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are a family of four. We are in our third year of homeschooling and we sell fireworks in the summertime. We do part-time jobs and gig jobs like spark delivery in the off season. I do apologize if there is a lot of background noise. My kiddos are in the other room. So, how is everybody's homeschool year going so far? Or have you even started? I know a lot of people start later in the year. We started our homeschool year in August. I believe it was August 7th. Uh, we, are official, we are officially on our 23rd day of our 180 days of homeschool. I was super nervous about homeschooling our daughter, she's six, just because when we started homeschooling Keaton, he was much older, he was going into the third grade, he knew how to write, he already knew how to read, that was all already done for me, so I was super, super nervous with Kenzie. But things are going pretty well. We have had some rough days. We try to change it up every day, play game, uh, read more maybe, and do less worksheet type work. Uh, just, just to make it to where she's not getting bored with the work that she is doing. However, I always make sure that I don't push her. As much as I want her to get something done so that I can count that as a school day for her, I am not going to push her because it's not worth it. I want her to enjoy this journey with our family and learn with an open mind and not be forced to do something that she doesn't want to do. Also, the point of homeschooling is to be able to have a better relationship with your kids. You're with them all the time and I for one want to be close to my kids so I don't want to make her so mad that she's angry with me so we just kind of roll with the punches and uh, make things up on the fly that I think might be somewhat educational but also fun for her as well. As far as Keaton goes he does amazing uh, as long as he's on his medication. <laughs> he does have ADHD and, and although they do say that some kids can outgrow it as they get older, uh, right now I think that his ADHD is getting worse. Uh, so as long as he has his medication and it's kicked in, he's to the point now that I can just He's to the point now that I can just hand him his schoolwork and he can do it on his own. Now, of course, if he has a question or needs help on something, I am there to, to help guide him in that lesson if he needs it. Over the summer, we had planned to finish up the geography that Keaton didn't finish last year and also work on cursive writing uh, sheets that I had printed off of Teachers Pay Teachers. With the fireworks stores, uh, we did have two this year and that was very, very new for us. My husband was at one, I was in the, at the other and it was just a lot. So we ended up doing a week or two of those subjects, uh, but then we kind of fell off the wagon and <laughs> did not do any more. So, so he has finished up his geography from last year and we are currently working on the cursive writing papers from Teachers Pay Teachers. We have also done our unit study on weather and I think we're going to try to put several weeks between each unit study just to give us a break on things and it will probably also depend on what we've got going on in our life at that time. Just kind of do them by the feel of things. There is one subject that we haven't started with Keaton yet, and that is telling wisdom and using language well. There really isn't any major reason why we haven't started it yet. I think I'm just waiting for a good time um, that I feel would be to start it. And 
Um, I think maybe we're going to wait until he's finished with his cursive writing sheets and then we'll add the language arts in. If you hear squeaking in the background, my six-year-old has decided to clean the mirror in our bedroom and she thinks the sound is just hilarious. So if you hear the squeaking, that is her cleaning the mirror. With Kenzie, we're pretty much on track with her and I'm happy with where we're at so far. Mind you, we're only 23 days in. We are using the Teachers Pay Teachers worksheets that I printed off for her for both math and phonics. Uh, we did get rid of the scissor skills. She cannot stand to do the scissor skills, but we will do whatever we need to to make this homeschool year a smooth transition. She is a very crafty and creative child anyways, so she's always cutting and gluing and coloring and painting and so I'm not really, not really super concerned about the scissor skills. Once we finish the Teachers Pay Teachers worksheets, we will move into the primer Matthew C for her and into All About Reading. I have recently discovered Hot Dots. If you know what they are, they're awesome. If you don't know what they are, you should look them up. And actually I can link them in the description box below. It comes with a pen and workbooks and in the workbooks it has black dots and you push the pin on the answer and it will tell you if it's right or wrong. And Kenzie's going to show that to you. Okay, right so quick. it comes with these workbooks and you can get kindergarten and I think it goes all the way up to maybe third or fourth grade, but you can get reading, you can get math, you can get science, there's all kinds of them. And then, sorry about the glare. You press the pen to these black dots and it tells you if it's right or wrong. I'm going to show the pen. So this is the junior pen and then they have other pens. Um, and you can actually buy the pen on its own as well. But if you take it, this one says choose the letters that match the ones in the box. So you're going to do letter A. And then if they choose the wrong one, Incorrect. Nope. That's not right. Sorry. <laughs> and she absolutely loves these. So right now we only have the kindergarten book one and two, uh, Hot Dots Junior, and uh, the reading one. But I want to get her The other nice more. thing about it is you can turn the sound off on that pen. Uh, she is using it right now so you can hear the click of it, but all of the sound is turned off. Some other things that I've done to make our homeschool days easier with Kenzie is we play games. Uh, I have a Sweet Sums game and it was a little bit difficult for her only because we have not uh, worked on addition and subtraction yet and that is what is it is about. It is adding and subtracting. So we worked through it. I used um, just some things that we had around the house uh, to help her figure up, you know, more and less. We've also we've also played Crazy Eights, and I tell you what, she beats me every time. <laughs> I have numbers, flashcards, as well as sight words. We have not so much used the sight words yet, just because we're not really learning sight words, uh, if that makes sense. We haven't started All About Reading and there's a lot of sight words in All About Reading. And so um, we started with a few of them and then we just kind of put them aside because she got bored with them. Um, the same with the numbers. She can verbally count her numbers in order, but if I show her a, but if I show her a flashcard with that number on it, Oftentimes she can't tell me what it is, especially if they're not in order. Those are just some things that we're working on. But, but again, I don't push her and I'm not going to push Keaton either if he's having a bad day. Uh, as much as I want to get in that homeschool day, it's not worth the fight and the tears 
and we can make it up another day. You know, if we want to do a Saturday field trip or if we want to do some work on a Saturday or a Sunday because we don't have anything to do, then we can do that. That's the, that's the great thing about homeschool is it doesn't have to be Monday through Friday. It can be any time of the day. It can be any day of the week. I think that's all that I have for today, guys. I truly, truly, truly hope that your homeschool year is going good so far and that it continues to go well. Just remember to give yourselves grace and enjoy these moments. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.